Welcome to another session on Classy Lens Production. Today we'll be looking at how to import files into DaVinci Resolve 16. The first thing we want to open our DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. Uh, this is the paid version and you can have the free version, the same process for you to import file into DaVinci Resolve. So once it's opened, uh, we can create a new project. And uh, let's call this um, test import. Footage, let's call that, and we create. So when you first create DaVinci Resolve, it opens, um, this goes to the edit page because this is what I was doing last. So basically we want to be, if you look at the bottom right here, we want to be at the media page. And once we're in the media pool, this is how it looks. So right here is all the files we've brought into our project. And here is our display icon. And this side is just for preview for the files we have. So right here, all the drive we have on our computer, if you're using a laptop on your laptop, um, so I'm using the iMac, so we have all this. And the file, so you just go to the file where you want to import your file. So basically there are two ways we can do it. We can go right here where you see file at the top and just click import file and import media. And we can click that. And once we click that, it opens this our browser folder for us to see all the files we have in our computer. And in this case, we can just go straight to my desktop where we have, and this is a test footage. Uh, we can just select that and open and boom. So basically here is asking us if we want to change our frame rate for the project setting. And we're going to have that in the upcoming uh, tutorial, maybe a couple of weeks from now on how to set your timeline and all that. But just a quick preview. So. Um, if you if you like to change the frame rate of the video, we're trying to import to match our timeline or not. So for now, just click don't change, and boom, we have our our footage right here. So this is the footage, and it's in our project. Then we can go to our edit page right here, and we can see the footage we imported right here. And how do we bring our footage that we just imported to our project to our timeline? is by two ways. We can just click here and we can create new timeline using selected clip right here. And once we do that, it's gonna ask us to name the timeline and if we wanted to, we can name it or we can just leave it default. And once we click, our footage is right there. So I'm gonna take this off and we have our timeline there. We can also bring our footage by just dragging and dropping it right there on the timeline. That is one way for us, two ways for us to bring to the timeline. Now, for us to import our file, let's go back to media. And I want to delete this. So I just highlight, select the, the timeline and use the back, the delete button and click delete. Select, click delete on your keyboard and just click remove. Now we've removed all the all the files we imported earlier on. So if we go to our edit page, there's nothing there. Media page, there's nothing there. Now we want to import again. Remember the first time we use the file up here. Now the second way is we can see all our drive right here. We can just go directly to the drive location. Like uh, mine is on that desktop. Okay, and we can see a highlight of what we have. And yeah, so we can go into the respective folder where we want, but I'm just, I want to use this test footage. So I just drag and drop. It's going to access this every time we drop if the frame rate is different from the project's frame rate. So it's asking if we want to change our frame rate to match. Let's say don't change. We have it here. And just like before, we can go back to our edit page and we're going to see it right here. We can go to various page. Don't worry about all this. Uh, upcoming tutorials, we're going to go through all these different pages available in DaVinci Resolve 16. But one thing is 
this file is not available in all the pages from the court page you can see fusion we have it right there right here um, color page we don't have it in the color page because we've not brought it yet to our timeline so just earlier on I told you um, you can just drag this go to edit page drag it and drop now it's available in color page and delivery page and fair light so for delivery fair light color and fusion you need to drop your media in the timeline for you to be able to do anything on this part but once you bring it into your media pool it's available for court and edit yeah you have it guys um thank you guys and if you've not subscribed to our channel please hit the subscribe button and hit the like and um, also the bell icon so you get notified when we have new videos we will have new videos every week for you guys thank you and have a great week see you guys next week bye